are talking Ouija witch. It kind of sounds like they've just taken two kind of horror words and bunged it together and made a film around it, doesn't it? Ouija witch. What are we talking about? What's this movie all about? Well, you might say it stars Sean Young, but it really is just a cameo. But that's just the name to put on this uh, on this movie. Uh, but the story focuses on this young woman who is uh, um, assaulted on her way home from work. She works in a bar. And uh, she's assaulted by a group of men on her way home after having an altercation with them earlier on in the evening. And she's kind of injured and uh, on the way back she happens to kind of uh, bump into Sean Young's character who is a kind of spiritualist and... Uh, she basically convinces this young woman to uh, get, use a spirit board, use a Ouija board to conjure uh, this witch Mary Blackwood uh, to uh, get revenge for her. Now, Mary Blackwood was a witch who uh, had lived and died in the area, uh, you know, 100, 200 years before. Um, and uh, this witch now manifests and decides to get revenge on this group of men and anyone else maybe who she runs into who she doesn't like. What will happen? You will have to watch the movie and find out. So, let's talk about Ouija Witch. So, it's a relatively low budget kind of like uh, independent production. Um, what I would say on the plus side, it's I think it's relatively kind of well put together on a technical level. It's, you know, it's kind of quite well kind of filmed, edited, sound design, all that kind of thing. So, it looks reasonable, I would say, in, in regards to that. And I would say as well, I think the, the effects for a low budget movie aren't too bad as, as well. I mean, there's minimal kind of witch effects to be fair, but... Uh, what we do see, I think, is um, it's okay. You know, it's, it's not it's not too hokey looking. Um, there's a, you know, there's quite a lot of makeup and stuff where we see this kind of witch in a true form, etc. I, I kind of thought was was quite effective. They do a bit with kind of fire and things. I kind of quite like that. Um, I think the character there is some good character uh, choices that are made here. Uh, the the Mary Blackwood, which is the kind of the witch character, I think makes a kind of good boogeyman or boogie woman, I should say. Um, you know, a, a quite interesting kind of concept for a, you know you know a witch coming back from the dead and stuff like that. And uh, made for an interesting kind of uh, antagonist, where she kind of kisses the guys to sort of um, you know see what they've done, for example. And then she when she kills them, so that she kind of Sort of makes them look a little bit like suicide to kind of cover her tracks. So I thought there were some interesting ideas uh, with this kind of, um, the, the, kind of the Mary Blackwood who antagonist character. And then there are some kind of like some interesting ideas I think with some of our protagonists and um, and, and kind of just other characters. So our, our main girl, our protagonist, she's kind of got a little bit of a, um, a, a, a kind of a, a past where she has not always been on the up and up, but I think that makes that character have a little bit more kind of like layers and stuff and a little bit more kind of nuance. She's, has a, she's you know, had problems with substance abuse and stuff like that in the past. Even one of our, I think our antagonist, this group, this, this group of, group of guys, um, was his, his crime was really one of apathy rather than directly assaulting this woman, but he's kind of like, so it made him kind of like, he's not, you feel like he's he's part of the group, but he didn't kind of get in properly involved, if that makes sense. Which I thought they could have actually done more with, to be honest with you. But he's kind of like, um, treated just the same really as the kind of the others. Uh, so, so there are some interesting kind of character moments within this kind of, uh, this movie. And I think some of these characters have a little bit of, uh, you know, interesting kind of nuance to them. Uh, the movie is kind of quite well paced. I mean, our witch kind of shows up just before the kind of the halfway mark, um, but nonetheless, I do feel the movie is kind of quite well paced. The kind of the the, the kind of the kills, for example, are, are relatively kind of spaced out and stuff like that. And overall, it's it's an okay kind of like entertaining movie. So that leads me into what doesn't work. I mean, the biggest thing I would say with this movie it is just so unoriginal. It's kind of outside of a few, as I say character choices and backstories that I think make have the characters a little bit more depth. I mean, you can kind of like guess what's going to happen in this movie straight away. I mean, I did. I knew exactly what was going to happen. 
um, as soon as we saw our character working in a bar, you know, and there's a group of guys there, you just knew what was going to happen. It's very, very um, obvious, very kind of unoriginal kind of plot, and it, and it and it breaks down more or less, you know, exactly kind of like how you think it's going to. Uh, and as much as I like some of the character work, there are some that I think just they're a little bit broad. Um, for example, we have in this group of guys. Of course, we've got the nice guy who kind of uh, you know likes her and seems so different from uh, his kind of group of friends that they can, what, what, you, you simply wouldn't be friends with these people. They do try and address it in, in some dialogue, but it's just like, he's your t t typical nice guy, bloody blood. It just seems very, very like, um, you know, unrealistic. These, these characters would be kind of like friends and things like this because they're so different. Uh, so, you know, but the it's a very obvious film. It's, it's going to happen exactly how you how you think it's going to. Of course, she's going to start regretting her choices and things like this. Um, so, yeah, it's not going to give you any type of, of uh, surprises, this film. Um, it feels kind of quite by the numbers. It's not particularly kind of like sort of gory or shocking in any way. Um, the... The acting is a little bit of a mixed bag, to be honest with you. So I don't think this helps sometimes with the kind of when you are we're going to be looking at our characters and buying into them. Some of the acting is fine, but some of it is a little bit ropey, to be honest with you. Uh, and it's it's just a kind of like okay movie. It's watchable. I think you can enjoy it, but it's it's really not going to going to break the mold. So you can probably guess where I'm going to go with this movie in regards to a rating. It's just a straight 5 out of 10. It's just a very average kind of B-movie. It's not bad. It's watchable. It's not going to kind of like be remembered in anyone's kind of like top 10 lists at the end of the year. But it's fine if you want a bit of a kind of a time waste. So maybe a good kind of like one time watch. So We Do Itch is a 5 out of 10. What did you think of it? Please do leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.